there may be a path to peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The Saudi Normalization Deal, an agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia to establish formal diplomatic relations in return for a set of terms, including Israel's recognition of a Palestinian state. In public, Benjamin Netanyahu has scorned America's attempts at a peace deal. Our security and the prospects of peace in the Middle East depend on one thing, total victory over Hamas. But in private, he's said to be more flexible. So, how likely is it the deal will succeed? The Saudis have been talking about normalization with Israel for years. This is something that predates uh, October 7th. It's something that they have been thinking about since Joe Biden took office, and, and they have been building a quiet relationship with Israel for a decade or more, uh, cultivating military ties, intelligence and security ties with Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu has visited Saudi Arabia more than once, even though Israel and Saudi Arabia don't have official diplomatic relations. It probably helps to think of it as a set of nested boxes in which if you want to solve the more than century old Israeli-Palestinian conflict, you need a two-state solution. The key to the two-state solution is the Saudi normalization deal because that is what makes it more palatable to Israelis. The key to the Saudi normalization deal is ending the war in Gaza because no Arab state can actually move on this front until the fighting ends. The key to ending the war in Gaza is the hostage agreement because Israel Israel will not stop, at least until it gets the hostages back. Then you have the bigger problem of how do you lock this into the Saudi normalization deal. And there the Americans are going to have to put in a fair amount of their own currency. The Saudis are demanding a defense treaty, a formal defense treaty with the United States. And they also want access to nuclear technology, a civilian nuclear program. But as Iran shows, once you get nuclear capability, you are closer to being able to develop a nuclear bomb. So there will be a lot of caution about this. Both these things are quite difficult for the United States to concede. But for the sake of that historic deal, it seems that President Biden is willing to do it. Anton, you've been talking to the people negotiating this deal uh, over the past few days. Tell us a bit what the mood is like. Well, I think desperate to wind down the war is certainly true. Officials are giving it a 50-50 chance. And then once they lock that in, they think there's another 50-50 chance of getting the wider normalization deal. The odds are the Saudi normalization deal doesn't happen, but they're probably bigger than anybody would have given it. And I think it comes from the realization that something has to happen. And I think they feel that this moment when Israel is struggling to achieve its war aims and is seeing the contradiction between destroying Hamas and getting the hostages back may be the right moment to push for progress. Thanks for watching. To watch our experts' full discussion, click the link and subscribe to The Economist.